Manchester United is a football club right now. We are banging form. 15 points from our last possible 18. And those three that we dropped was away at City. A game that seemingly seems unwinnable for anybody right now. But not all of our players are in form. And in this video, I want to react and take a look at Rio Ferdinand's comments on the latest Vibe with Five episode about Jadon Sancho. A player who came through the preseason with so much promise. Um, we're all like, that's the Bundesliga Sancho. That's the one that we've been waiting to really see at Manchester United. And we've seen it fleetingly so far this season, but in and out. So what I want to do is run through Rio Ferdinand's comments. Take a look at what he's had to say. And we can have a conversation and a discussion around them. If you want to watch a full video with Viber 5, the link is in the description here. But look, we need to talk about Jaden Sancho. Because there aren't many players that we have spent... Well, more money and more time chasing than Jaden Sancho. We tried for a whole year. We couldn't get him. We went back the next year. We got him. He's had his moments. He's had his moments this scene as well, that goal against Liverpool. But let me run through these comments and I want to hear what Rio Ferdinand has to say on it because he's been a player at United, one of the best defenders we've ever had. He understands about struggles in form. Well, I think it's always interesting to hear from a former professional. So let's just run through and listen to his comments. We can stop it. We can have a conversation about it. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to put him down because I think he's fantastic. I want to see him replicate that Bundesliga form into the Premier yeah, League. I ain't seen that yet. That's the thing. That's that's yeah. the concerning thing for me. If I'm if I'm Jaden Sancho or in Jaden Sancho's camp, I am looking at ways in which I can unpick his game, his mind to un unearth the the Sancho that made him a coveted talent around Europe. Like My first question there is, genuinely in the comments, what do you feel right now is the issue with, it, with Sancho? Is it, is it confidence? Is it the system he's playing in? Is it the fact that he's now playing more on the left-hand side rather than the right-hand side because Anthony's come in as a pure out-and-out right winger? It's going to be Anthony playing there this season. What, do you, what would you try and pinpoint as, as, as the problem behind Jadon Sancho's form. I think Rio sort of discussed that in a little bit more detail here. Like, his numbers in Germany were, were great. He was doing marvellous things over there, but it hasn't transferred to the Premier League yet. And I don't know why. What is the reason why? Is it because the way the team's set up? Is it because of the pace of the Premier League? Is he getting asked to do more defensively so he hasn't got the energy for output when they've got it in transition? I think that's, a, that's kind of a big issue with our wingers at the moment anyways, is the fact that they're not coming back. We saw that sort of exacerbated against City when Delo and Malasia were so overexposed against City, who dragged the, 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 the game wide. But did he do that back in Dortmund? I can't particularly remember whether Dortmund's uh, wingers were expected to come and track back. It's, it's a key part of the modern game, really. Like, his assist and his goal record isn't great if you compare it to other players in his position. So it's like, it's like you allow him that time to adapt to this league. He's had a season yeah. of that. And the, after pre-season, I was thinking, okay, yeah, this looks like we've got the Sancho that we bought from Finished Dortmund. well against Liverpool, though, to His be fair. His performances have come off the right, though. That's what worries me. Mm. It's because we've just signed Anthony for 80 million and, and he's playing on the right. So mm. that that is a genuine concern, is that you, you kind of replaced him in summer with Anthony. You've moved. I mean, it's a fair point from Steve in terms of the position of Sancho. But Sancho can play off the left. And he has played off the left of Manchester United. And I think he's, he's even told... I don't think it was ever put into an interview or something like that, but I swear somebody said that he actually enjoyed playing off the left a little bit more on occasions. Jaden Sancho, honestly, I find it very confusing to what's gone on, what is going on and what, and what continues to go on because sometimes he looks magical and then sometimes he just sort of disappears into the ether. For me, it must be around, feels like it must be around confidence. That's the way I'm looking at it because look, Right now, there's two wingers at Manchester United. I'm calling Rashford a winger because Rashford is a winger who are banging for. That's Rashford and Anthony. Anthony with three and three. Rashford, he, Rashford's just impacting games now. I'm playing with a big smile on his face. It feels, I, st I don't know, and I've, I've kind of said this quite a lot of times, that I think the fact that Sancho and Rashford and Saka all missed penalties in the Euro final somehow got blown over for the, sort of the psychological impact that might have had on those young lads. We brought off the bet. Like, we brought off the bet. That was such a ridiculous decision by Southgate to do it, and so unfair as well. But um, I'm a little bit perplexed. I imagine Ten Hag is a little bit too. What do you think is the way out of this? Honestly, let's let's listen to a bit more of what Rio had to say. He's shown this season he can score goals. He scored yep. against Liverpool, didn't he? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
Um, and I against Leicester, I think. Yeah, and yeah, and I think yeah. he's he's. Sometimes you know you're looking for a bit of form, and you're not you're not playing. Like he's worked hard. Don't get me wrong, but knowing a player like Jaden, they want to get on the ball. They want to showboat a bit. They want to show their skills. They want to be able to drop people. Them Instagram little reels. Baller. He ain't mm. he ain't really got a reel yet. In terms of in terms of skills and and moving people and and stuff and going by people yet, but if he could get his stats up like that, it almost negates the argument that we're talking about here. If he gets the goals and gets assists and affects the game in that area, and if he can get himself in between the posts more often than not, when he's in there, he's shown already he's a cool finisher. I don't think Rio Ferdinand's trying to sort of put Jaden Sancho as a, as an Instagram real footballer in, in a negative sense. Because that is kind of what Jaden Sancho loves to do. He loves to, not and again, not in a negative way, he loves to be the centre of attention. He loves to be the person who does make those differences, who does whip out that skill and, and who can make the difference in the game in the same way that Anthony is doing it right now and Rashford is doing it right now. And, and Sancho has done it at points this season. I would kind of disagree. Although Rio is right here when he's saying that Sancho is good between the posts, I don't particularly think that's the, the greatest strength of Sancho's game. Sancho is somebody who works really well behind the lines. And at Dortmund, he was a very much a system-based player. And that brought out the best of Sancho. He knew exactly what he, what he had to do. And that's why I'm a little bit confused in what I'm seeing at the moment. We're not seeing that Sancho yet because we've got a system now. We've got a manager in Eric Ten Hag down here who I think will be giving real clarity to Jaden Sancho of what he wants from him, exactly what he wants from him. And I, that, for me... I was expecting to see Jaden Sancho thrive in that environment under Eric Ten Hag. I, look, I don't particularly think the arrival of Anthony is um, something that is a bad thing for Sancho. It gives him clarity on that left wing. He's very good on the left wing, man. He's very good at cutting inside. At Dortmund, he would cut on the outside and fire in crosses. But at United, when it comes to what we're doing from that position, we're doing cutbacks. And at the moment, we don't really have a number nine. So the idea that Sancho is, is missing those overlaps on the right wing, is kind of irrelevant, really, because we not, don't really have somebody in the box who's going to be on the end of them. Did that quite a lot in preseason, though, in terms of the overlaps from Delo and from Shaw and Malasia and the fact that we kept getting cutbacks. That worked. That really, really worked. And Jaden Sancho was doing very well with that. Martial's obviously been injured. That's made it had a key impact in terms of how we played in terms of the strikers this season. But Jaden Sancho right now is behind Phil Foden, behind Bakayo Saka, he's behind Jack Grealish. He's not in the England squad. And it was him and it was Rashford, right? They got dropped from that England squad. And Rashford now, the way he's playing, is forcing himself right back into that squad for the World Cup. And at the moment, Jaden Sancho doesn't really have a hope of getting on that plane unless something clicks. And he's in a team which is banging form. As I said, 15 points from 18 for United in the league. Sancho's got to ride that wave. He's got to come out of the other side of this. Look, players come in, in and out of form. Look, look at Madisir at the moment, a little bit of bad form. Luke Shaw comes back in, boom, takes to the stage. Sancho needs to do the same thing because the way that Rashford is playing, as I said, the way that Rashford's playing, the way that Anthony is playing, they are two of the first names on the team sheet. Absolutely. But because Ronaldo might be... I hope that Ronaldo, after that Everton game and performance, I hope that's the end of his preseason in, 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 in a sense. And Ronaldo is now going to start banging them in from a centre forward position and give us a real option up there. Because at the moment, prior this, so far this season, it's been chopping and changing. Rashford playing there, it's been Ronaldo playing there, in and out of form, Martial when he's not injured. We haven't really had a proper striker that we can rely on. And then the wingers at the moment are becoming the positions that we can rely on. Rashford out on the left and Anthony out on the right. And I. I still think that there's so much more to come from Jaden Sancho at Manchester United. Maybe that's being blindly sort of naive. Uh, you can say what you want about that in the comments, but we spent so long chasing that Dortmund Sancho. And I have to agree with Rio in the idea that I don't think we've seen that, not on the sort of scale that we've seen it. We can talk about the Liverpool goal and he sent everybody to shops. Lovely composed finish. Amazing composure in that situation. But it's, it's not consistent enough. Whether it's the consistency, the, I don't know what word you want to use to associate with Sancho, but it's surprising. It's even more surprising, given how good he was in preseason, that this has happened during the season. But in the same way, Man United were great during preseason and just collapsed under the pressure of the Premier League in the first two games. Is it the speed of the Premier League? 
Is it the pressure of the Premier League? Is there something else going on behind the scenes? There's a lot of questions at the moment that we don't have the answers to. So you need to let me know in the comments what you think about this situation. If you're Eric Ten Hag, how do you take Jaden Sancho to the side and get the best out of him? How do you help him find that form, the sort of form that you're seeing from Anthony, the sort of form you're seeing from Rashford? You want to include Sancho in that party. How do you do it as a manager? I'll be interested to know what you think in the comments and let me know whether you think Rio's right in what he's saying. I, was, I like doing these reaction videos. I think it's interesting to hear other people's opinions and have a comment about them. You let me know what you think in the comments and so make sure you watch the full uh, video over on Vibe, Vibe with Five. It's in the comments. I'll leave a link there.